Hi guys, my name is Joseph. Today I've taken this session just to take you guys through what Avoda is as a company, like as its founder. Uh, so back in uh, June of 2020, when I initially launched Avoda, the objective was to create an ecosystem where students can come and explore their passion at a very, very nominal rate. So we wanted to make education so accessible that common people, that people in general wouldn't give it much thought. So let's say you're going to an institution, right? And, the, and you really want to learn digital marketing or you want to learn cyber security, you want to learn mobile phone engineering you want to learn any of these courses let's say that you guys are going to an institution and you guys are gonna ask them how much is the fees right and they tell you it's 30,000 or 40,000 what's going to happen you're then going to do the math right where am I going to get 30,000 from where am I going to get 40,000 from but we wanted to make Avoda so accessible to everyone that people wouldn't really think about the price of the course or the price of the product which is why we've priced it at 12,800 but we collect the initial 2,800 upfront as a registration fees and then the rest of it after you get a job uh, related to the course that you studied with us now this is what makes us really unique apart from this we have a wide variety of courses over 23 courses being run in six languages therefore if you ever at any one of these points if you want to move away uh, from let's say you've taken digital marketing at that 2800 price point let's say you want to move away from digital marketing to any other course at Avoda it's very easy for you to do so you can simply switch from one course to the other at no extra cost now Avodha's entire speciality, our entire uh, uniqueness also comes from the fact that we are vernacular. We teach people in the mother tongue. This leads to an increase in engagement and increasing learning outcomes. You can check out our articles. If you just go to Google and search Avodha News, you'll be able to see uh, all of the comprehensive coverage we've gotten from reputed news organizations analyzing our business model and analyzing our product. Lastly, I just wanted to address a couple of negative comments that we sometimes might get in these videos. Firstly, with one lakh paid users, some negative comments are kind of common. However, we try to reach out to every single negative comment, try to get their details and check if they are, they are our students or not. Now, when you guys see these negative comments, there's one thing that I would always suggest to you do is to check if it's a fake profile. Now, with Avoda's kind of business model, you can imagine that we'll have enemies. There are so many institutions out there that are selling the same exact course curriculum we are selling for a price point of 30,000 or 40,000. Now, what's going to happen when this particular uh, kind of pricing differentiation happens, right? Students are going to come to Avoda because they're getting the same quality of education at a much, much, much lower rate. This is a very common fact of economics. Now, these guys who've been operating for 10 years or 20 years or 30 years, obviously they're gonna have some problems. I would always suggest that if you guys are seeing some reviews, look at the usernames. Now, this is very common practice to try to find fake IDs. Look at the names of the profiles, number one. Second, click on that profile, whether it's on YouTube or Google reviews or Facebook or any other platform, and see if it's a fake profile. Some of the things you can look out for is whether or not they're posting only at Avoda and nowhere else, whether or not uh, their reviews uh, seem genuine or not, whether or not if, if it's on Facebook, right? Uh, what are their friends list looking like? Are there photographs? Is there a profile picture? So just make sure that you're going through all of these things before actually believing a review is from a genuine profile because we do get a lot of fake reviews. So if you guys have ended up seeing one of these things, go back, check it out. If it fits with the criteria I'm telling you, it's most likely from our competitors. If it doesn't, reach out to us at joseph.george at aboda.com. That's my personal mail ID. Uh, reach out to me personally with that kind of a detail. We'll reach out to the review person if it's a genuine review and we will rectify their issue. Thank you guys.